I'm like, yo, I just changed my password. I know I'm not forgetting my password. So I changed it again. I'm already liking him, whatever the case is. That's where he got me. This guy does not like me for real. Oh, I thought he lived in London. It's your girl, Dupe Bad. And if you don't know, <laughs> now, now you know. If you're not subscribed, make sure you click that subscribe button so you can be notified every time I drop a new video and you can be baddies, gang. <laughs> Alright, so this video is going to be a story time. I'm actually embarrassed. Guys are so embarrassing. Like, guys are just so embarrassing. Alright, so this was a time where I got scammed by a guy I was dating. Well, I, a guy I was beginning, you know, to date or whatever the case is. I don't even know where to start from. So I actually met this guy in Nigeria. Oh my gosh. He was a mutual friend. I don't even know where to start, man. I already told myself, like, I was not gonna, like, take nobody serious or whatever the case was. I'm just going out there to have fun, just going out there for vacation. And, you know, you know, it's the useless guy caught up or whatever. I met the guy, and, um, when I met him, I was like, he's kind of weird. He was very possessive, but I was just like, you know what, maybe he just knows what he wants or whatever the case is. So he's texting me. I didn't even give him my number at first. I think I gave him my Snapchat. And then he was like, no, I want your number, blah, 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 blah. So I was just like, all right, here. So then he kept calling, and I was just like, okay, you know, he's actually cool. I like talking to him. He was actually cool, or whatever the case is. This guy was actually 10 years older than me. So it was like something that was like different for me. I wasn't like used to, I was used to older guys, but he was like 11 years older than me. I was like, whoa. But I was like, you know what? He might be put together. This might be my husband. You know what I mean? This might be my husband. Let me not, let me not pass up on this opportunity because of how I'm judging him or whatever the case is. So I let him take me out to eat or whatever the case is. And I started spending more time with him. And I ended up actually liking the guy. So we would talk like every day while I was in Nigeria. We would hang out like very, like almost damn near like every day. He would hit me up like, where are you? Like come over and blah, 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 spend some time or whatever the case is. So I was liking the guy, and then he started like, uh, how do I put this? Things were going really, really smooth. I didn't even know he lived in Nigeria. A lot of people from, you know, the States, which is like America or London or Canada, they go back to Nigeria for the holidays, which is December, which is festive period, like for Christmas time, is when everybody comes together from all the Nigerians from all over the world come back to Nigeria to like reunite and have a good time. That's basically what festive um, period is and we call that um, I just got back. So I'm the I just got back. So he, he told me like, you know, I peeped you. I knew you weren't from here. I looked you up and down from head to toe. So he basically like was sizing me up and he peeped like I wasn't, I didn't live in Nigeria. He seen that as an opportunity. So me, I already know how Nigerians are around that time they look for girls that are from abroad or look for girls that don't live in nigeria so to me i was like you know a meal ticket i don't know i'm bad let me not make it seem like it's all a lot of people that live in nigeria are known to you know try to look for a, a foreign babe a foreign babe and a foreign babe is any any nigerian or whatever that's not living in nigeria so to me i'm nigerian but i don't live in nigeria so I'm the foreign one because I don't have the Nigerian accent or whatever case says I speak, you know, like an American. I thought the guy was from London. I really thought he was from London. <laughs> Alright, so don't laugh at me because a lot of Nigerians, they have this way of speaking like they're from London. And I don't know why they do that. They just want to make it seem like, I guess they want to make it seem like they're foreign to make themselves, I don't know. A lot, they even do that in the schools. Like when they teach you English, they'll try to make people pronounce their, their words differently. There's a lot of Nigerians that um, go to London or whatever, live in London. And London is right there. Nigeria and London is like six hours. It's a six hour flight, it's like right there. So I thought he lived in London. So that's the reason why I was like, okay, you know, I can talk to this guy. By the time I realized he didn't live in London, I already started liking the guy. So I was like, all right, you know what? Let me not be shallow. 
let me not be shallow. I'm, I want to give this guy a chance, you know. I'm already liking him, whatever the case is. That's where he got me. <laughs> I was like, I already like this guy. Like, let me just give him a chance, or whatever the case is. And, you know, we started spending more time, whatever the case is. And as time goes on, he's like, um, I need money. And I'm like... You need money. <laughs> what that guy do with me? <laughs> so he kind of guilt tripped me. Like, you know, the place where I'm staying, a lot of people from, you know, they came back. Like, he was staying at his uncle's house. And, like, his uncle came back with the family. So he basically had to leave the house that he was staying. And then he had to pay for a hotel. And it wasn't expected. People were owing him money. They're not trying to give him the money. I'm the only person that he can ask for the money. So I'm like, damn, you know, I feel, I feel, I feel kind of bad. First of all, Nigerians, Nigerian men are known to be the provider. Asking women for money is not very, like, it's frowned upon. Because the man is supposed to be the provider. So I'm just looking like, why is he asking me for money? Like, why? Out of all your friends, he knows enough people to ask them for money. So I'm like, out of all your friends, why is it me, the girl that you just met, the girl that you're pursuing, that you decide to ask for money? That's mad suspect. I was like, this guy doesn't not like me for real. We're still in the stage where you would want to cover it up, make yourself seem like you're together. I was still getting to know him. It wasn't like we was in a full relationship. Like I was still in the process of getting to know him. When a guy really likes you, he's gonna do whatever he can, you know, impress you. He's not gonna wanna show his flaws right then and there and I felt like he was doing that a little bit too early I don't know if I'm saying that right but he, I felt like he was just doing it a little bit too early because he was already like 11 years older than me he should make himself seem like he has himself together because that's the only reason why a young girl would want to date an older man because they have themselves together they're either financially stable or they just have themselves they have their life figured out I cut him off I do want to add that he did not dress like the type to scam people like, he dressed with, like, suit pants and, like, button-up shirts and stuff like that. Like, he dressed very responsible. Basically, stopped picking up his calls. I stopped going to see him. Like, I just was just like, nah. Kept hitting me up. He's not replying to my text messages anymore. You're no longer picking my calls. And I'd be like, oh, I'm busy. Oh, I was sleeping. Oh, I would just give him an excuse. My bad. I didn't see it. Like, it was just always an excuse. And then after a while, he was just like, oh, is it because I asked you for the money? So then I was just, I was starting to feel really, really bad. The amount that he asked me for was like, it was like $200. Like, I'm not gonna give you $200. I only brought cash to Nigeria and it was like whatever cash I had, that's all I had. Like that's all I was able to spend. I didn't have a Nigerian bank account at that time so I wasn't gonna use my American card in Nigeria. I explained like I don't have that money on me but I'll see what I can do. So then I was just like, you know what, let me try to see if I can transfer you money through PayPal. That wasn't working. Then I was like, okay, let me see what I can do. Maybe I can go to the bank and like withdraw money from my American card or whatever the case. The bank was closed. There was traffic. I was like, yeah, I'm not doing that. So then my dumb, my dumb self, I went to go meet him to try to withdraw money from my American card through the ATM. And honestly, God saved my myself because I don't even know why I would... I, to this day, I don't even know why I did that. But I was just feeling so bad that I was just like, all right, it's not gonna be $200, but I'll at least give you something, you know what I mean? When I put my card in the ATM, no money would come out. Money wouldn't, it just wouldn't come out. It just was declining my card. It's not working, I'm sorry, I tried. And then, from then on, I was just like, you know what? God saved me, that was a sign. I'm not seeing him no more, like, I'm done. He had the nerve to be mad at me, like, oh, you wasted my time downloading PayPal and downloading all these apps and you said he was going to transfer me the money. If you knew he wasn't going to transfer me the money, then why did you say so? You made me waste my time and go to the ATM when you and you said that you didn't have any money. Like, he just was, like, not appreciating the fact that I was actually going out of my way and I was actually trying to give him some money. But, you know, God was like, no, you dumb right now. You're not giving him no money. <laughs> uh, oh, I skipped the part. Okay, so there was a time where when I went to go visit him, I'm going to do something. Oh, yeah, I was trying to set up the PayPal because he was saying it wasn't working. So that I was trying to use his phone and then I was using my phone and using his phone. I don't know. I wasn't having really, really good connection where we were. And, you know, I needed internet. So I was like, you know what? Let me check my email 
in case people are calling me from America and they can't get in contact with me, I'm pretty sure they'll probably email me instead. So I was just like, let me check my emails real quick. So I checked my emails, I didn't see anything. So I was just like, all right. I gave him back his phone. I was like, sign me out whenever you um, can or whatever case is. Oh yeah, help me sign out. There's nothing in my email that anybody would want. Like that's how I was thinking. I was like, I don't have, what would you look for in my email? Like there's nothing in my email that you would want. Like it's just, it's just gonna be random, like unnecessary stuff. I was just like, in order for him to use his email, he's gonna have to sign me out anyway. It's like, so there's, there's no problem. But after that, you know, I cut him off. And then, you know, time goes on and I go to see a girlfriend of mine. You know, we're just then we're just then we're talking, we're talking, catching up or whatever cases. Like, yeah, you know, my boyfriend he's older than me. Um and I was just like, Oh yeah, you know, I was dating I was I was just dating some guy that was older than me for the first time, you know, I dated a guy who was like I just had to cut off a guy that I was just currently dating. He's that's the age. I was like, he did the age. And then um, she was like, this the age. Oh, my boyfriend's at the age too. My boyfriend so-and-so, I'm going to call him Tony. My boyfriend Tony so-and-so's age too. And I was just like, huh? Tony? I was just like, wait, hold up. How Tony look? She's like, oh, you know, he's dark skinned, he's bald. And I'm like, hold up, hold up, sis, hold up. And we pulled out our phones immediately. And I was like, nah, I need to see how he looks. So I'm pulling out my phone for the pictures that we took together or whatever the case is. And I'm trying to show her. She's like, nah, that ain't my boyfriend. And I was just like, oh, good. Because imagine me dating my friend's boyfriend. Like, that's a whole nother problem. Like, that's a whole nother problem. So you was cheating? <laughs> I was a side chick? <laughs> so she's like, no, that's not my boyfriend. But, um... I know this guy. She's like, yeah, he was just telling me like how he's been having um, all these family problems and he asked me for money and you know, he told me that um, I was the only one that he could ask for money. And I was like, he told you that you're the only one that he can ask for money? He just asked me for money too. He told me the exact same thing. So now I'm vexed. At this point I'm vexed because now in my head it's like, you're going around to different girls and you're making it seem like they're the only one that you can you can go to and you're asking them for money. So basically like you 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 are a uh, what do you call this? Uh, I don't even know what to call him. Like just going around and, and like what? At that point I was already like irritated like all right like I'm so happy I cut him off. He deserved to be cut off. Like yeah, you know, he called me asking me for money. He told me I'm the only one um, they asked for money, and I was like, he told me the exact same thing, sis. Mm -hmm. She called his phone right on the spot, put it on speaker, and you know, she was like, yo, what do you want from my friend, whatever he said. He's like, oh, I like your friend, I really, really like her, I wanted to date her, but now she's playing somehow. So I'm just like, yeah, whatever. So we ended up. Fast forward, I go back to America. Whole New Year, you know, I was in Nigeria in December. So now it's January, the end of January, I'm back in America. So it's about a month later, I'm back in America and something is going on with my eBay account. For some reason, I kept having to change my password. I changed my password like so many times. I don't even know why. I changed my password and then when I go back the next day to log in, I was having difficulty logging in. I'm like, yo, I just changed my password. I know I'm not forgetting my password. So I changed it again. And then the next day I would have difficulty logging in. And I'm like, yo, what's going on? So now I had I had to keep changing my password. I'm like, yo, like I know I'm not tweaking and I remember my password. Fast forward, I get a notification like through my email saying, your account has been like, let me see. Cause I got receipts, baby. Yes. So I got an eBay notification saying, your eBay account has been temporarily locked due to concerns that someone may have used it without your permission. So I'm like, yo. So I'm like, yo. I was like, close that shit. I called them, I was like, somebody's using my account, close that shit. So mind you, the person tried to order a Hermes belt. And that's the type of belts he be wearing. And he had called me around that time too. He called me, I don't remember if it was before the eBay account or after. He was just like, yeah, like, 
um, I need some money. He called me in January when I came back to America. Like, I need some money. And I'm just laughing. Ha ha ha. I'm thinking he's calling because he, he just wants to talk or he's like, oh, I miss you, whatever. He's, like, he's calling. He's like, yeah, I need some money. I need some money. I need some money. And then I'm just like, I don't got no money for you. I don't got no money for you. So then, you know, I think he got irritated and hung up, whatever case, or I got irritated and I hung up, whatever case. I don't really remember. I don't know. I was checking my email and then I just seen his name. He sent an email out to somebody. I don't even. So I was just like, he's sending emails out in my, with my email? After over a month, he's still signing to my email. I was halfway asleep when I read that email, but trust me, I got up. I was wide awake once I saw his name used on my email account. I like I'm not even the type to like get angry, but I cursed his ass out. Cursed his ass out. And then I think I hit up my friend, my mutual friend that knew both of us. Tony's trying to scam me. Tony trying to scam me. He used my eBay account. He used my eBay account to try to buy a designer belt. Those are the belts he be wearing. He be wearing those type of belts. I was just like, yo, I was just going off. I don't need no money from her. I don't need no, I, there's nothing I want from you. I don't need you for anything. It was you, it was you. Why are you, sign, why are you still signing to my email? Why are you still signing to my email? I'm gonna sell my phone so someone else can use your email. Oh, I had to now like, yo, I screen recorded how to sign out of an email. I don't want you signing to my email. Now, oh, that day, <laughs> Let me tell you, I was so angry. I was damn near looking at flights to go to Nigeria because I go call up Siolo, I go report all of them for your case. Because I was going to scatter everything, I was going to scatter everything. It came to the point where he was threatening me and my friend, talking about I have girls waiting for you in Lagos. Like, you're threatening girls now? Because you want to scam, now you threatening me because you got caught trying to scam me? A friend set something up to send, I don't know, she sent one of her friends to like press him or whatever the case is like, you're threatening girls now? You're threatening girls? And he was like, nah, nah, that's not the case. And then, I don't know, when, I, we, when we came to Nigeria, I blocked him, I blocked him after that. I was just so over it, I was just like, yo, sign out of my shit. I don't want you using none of my shit. Like, you over here trying to scam me, like, nah. So then I blocked him. He called my friend up like randomly and just started cursing her out like you already got pressed by a guy and then you want to come back and like try to threaten my friend at that point I already blocked him so who knows if he tried to call me I think he changed his number and I seen a random number calling me and I was like who is this and I was like no I'm not picking up a random number but once on WhatsApp, you know on WhatsApp you can see like the person's picture or whatever he did. So once the number stopped ringing, I went to go see that picture and it was his picture. I was like, why, why is this guy calling me? Like, what you want from me? Like, I ain't do nothing to you. You're the one who's trying to scam me. I seen him again um, in um, Nigeria in December. And then I was at a part, I was just like at a, a nighttime party, like outside or whatever he did. He had the audacity to approach me. Like, hey, Dupe, what's up? Smiling and shit. And I'm like, what do you want? I thought you had girls waiting for me in Lagos. And he was just like, no, Dupe, it was not like that. I didn't mean it, I'm sorry. And I was like, and he just kept talking and I just tuned him out. I was like, what do you want? <laughs> he just ended up walking away because I wasn't even like, I wasn't even giving him any type of response or whatever he I don't know what it is. I must be like, I must, I must have something on my head that says, come and scam. Oh, this guy, oh my God. So this guy ended up going viral in the Nigerian community, in the Nigerian community. <gasps> so tell me why. Um, there was this whole thing where uh, EFCC, which is like the people in the government that collect scammers or people that like do fraud or whatever it is. The guy, they grabbed Tony. <laughs> Him and um, his, the people that he's with, his car, and he went viral. He posted a, a video of saying like EFCC is holding their cars or whatever it is. is. And I was just like, see, I knew this guy was a scammer. It's all, it's all in one package. So then um, my friend's cousin, the thing is like he didn't know, Tony didn't know that I knew people that he knew like that. 
he just thought like, oh, this girl's from America, like she doesn't know anybody. So my friend, cousin, also knows Tony, and she cursed him out too, like how can you be collecting money from small girls like us? Don't you know your age, at your big age, you're collecting money from from girls, like at this age you, you should be you should be embarrassed, like all these type of things. I think that's what made him really, really upset because he didn't expect it to go out like that. He, he probably knew what he was doing was going to cause heat, but he didn't know it would get to the people he knew and cause him embarrassment. Yeah, that's the end of my story, man. I don't know what it is. Like, I, I, Nigerians, I won't lie, I love, I love my people. I love my people. And not all Nigerians are scammers. There's a few out in the bunch that just ruin it for the others. And he's definitely the one, like, he's just like a manipulator. He'll make it, I feel like he was waiting for me to, like, fall in love with him or whatever case is. And once I fell in love with him, like, you know, I would be giving, because you know when women fall in love, they just turn so dumb or whatever case is. So he probably wanted me to fall for him and then like be giving him money because I'm from America and I have dollars and he saw me like okay you know she, this girl you know she has a good job she has a degree like he probably was like all right you know I can I can do something with this girl Nigerian men shot let's end my story time if you enjoyed this video please give it a like comment and subscribe to my channel. Don't comment. Don't comment. Cause I'm already embarrassed enough. Nah, I'm good. Um, I'm good though. I, do I attract scammers? Like, I don't understand. Like, why are people trying to scam me? I don't get nothing free. I work for everything I have, and it's just very unfortunate when people just see me as a meal ticket to try to take advantage of the the fact that I I'm caring and I'm open and I'm always trying to like help someone in need. But you know, people take advantage of that. So. It's like, at this point, like, you kind of just got to keep your distance. And sometimes when people reach out for help, you just got to... I'm sorry, I can't help you. Because once you start helping them, they're going to try to find their way into your life where they can steal, basically steal, steal from you. And you don't want to be stolen from. You want loyal and honest and loving people around you. But that's the end of my story time. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe so you can be baddies gang.